video, I'm just going to give you guys a little update on what I've done to my Jedi costume so far. I've been modifying it the past little while, um, just giving it a little more individuality to make it just a little more of my own and kind of differ a little bit from the um, basic Jedi attire, but keep it, you know, still cool looking. So I'm just going to give you a wider shot of it and give you um, just a quick rundown of what I've changed and what I plan to change. Alright, so first things first, the belt's the same. Actually, I should be using my pouches. I have the pouches there and a couple other stuff for the belt, but I'm not wearing them right now. It's just, it's not a big deal. One of the blazing features you'll notice about my belt is that I took off the obi. So, um, that's, that would be this little thing. So this is actually the obi that I used to wrap around over this and then having my belt over it. I'm not sure if I want to use this anymore. I mean, I sewed on the velcro. Which, you know, is better because now the Velcro doesn't come off every time. But I don't know, I feel like it's too thick looking. I don't really like the, the look of it. And it kind of bulks everything up. I kind of like the look of it a little thinner. And it looks more agile. And my gi, my white gi, is perfect still. But I've changed something obvious. I actually cut off the arms. And I plan to make those longer. Because it was kind, the gi was kind of ended like around here. So I'm going to make it longer like probably to my knuckles or something, with some more fabric, and I'm going to either glue or sew it together, because my sewing machine broke again, sucks, but that's pretty much it for the gi. So the next part I want to show you guys is uh, the over tunic. Before it was, uh, if you check my last video, my Jedi Showcase, cosplay showcase, it was a lot smaller in width, but it was also thicker, and um, a little harder to put on and just kind of keep on me properly. This is actually like a really big piece of fabric that I made smaller uh, when I was first sewing this like back in May 2015. The reason it was so thick was because I sewed it all together like a bunch of times, a bunch of layers. Um, so basically yeah, I, I ripped one layer off so it would be a little wider, a little less thick. You can see that it goes way past my shoulder now which it didn't do before unless I was really trying to make it do that. My hips, there's a cooler part that I like so I'll show you guys right now. Alright so this belt's kind of in the way so I'm just going to tuck this in here just for a second to give you guys a better look. Um, so basically what I did, since I had a lot of excess fabric here, under it, but this was kind of uh, really wide, and so basically what I did, I folded it in, and then it already had this sewed line on it, and then I basically just glued these two lines to it to give it the triangular look, and it kind of wraps around my um, thighs and my hip. It reminds me actually of the Knights of the Old Republic, um, Jedi costumes a little more, and I really like all their costumes. Okay, so next I'm just going to give a quick show of the back. So there's only a couple things left that I'm trying to finish up and tweak to my likings. I feel like this is a little long now. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I might do something to make that a little shorter because I feel like that kind of looks a little weird how long it is. So one of the last concerns I have with my modifying this costume is that whenever I'm like moving around or Playing with like a toilet saver. Come on, we all do it. Basically, whenever there's a lot of movement involved, the over tunic kind of falls. I'm like moving around. Yeah, okay, basically, it falls down off my shoulders, which is kind of annoying. And I'm trying to find something like maybe putting Velcro here to just keep it in place or having like a pin, like a safety pin to attach it. If you guys have any ideas to help me uh, with this problem or any, uh, any suggestions for the costume, I'll be happy to see those in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.